In this video we are going to make sodium dithionide also known as sodium hydrosulfate. So first we are going to begin with sodium carbonate. Here I am going to use anhydrous sodium carbonate. Uh, beside that uh, sodium carbonate we need methanol, sodium metabisulfite, zinc powder and some hydrochloric acid. So the first step is converting this sodium carbonate to sodium bisulfite. If you have sodium bisulfite, you can continue with that step. Right now you can see here I have taken 20 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate. Now I am going to dissolve this sodium carbonate in minimum amount of water. Okay, now the sodium carbonate solution is ready. Now I am going to bubble sulfur dioxide gas through this solution. So here is the setup. In this filter flask, I have 40 grams of sodium metabisulfite. And in this separation funnel, I have dilute hydrochloric acid. Now I am going to mix this together. Then in this reaction, we can make sulfur dioxide gas. And in this conical flask here, I have uh, this, uh, this is the solution we have prepared already. Now I am going to bubble sulfur dioxide gas. And I have uh, covered the top of the flask using cotton wool. So let's start the reaction. Right now you can see the reaction. Uh, when the sulfur dioxide gas is contact with sodium carbonate, you can see very tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide gas is produced. When the carbon dioxide bubbles are stopped producing, now we know the reaction is completed. So I am going to continue bubbling sulfur dioxide gas until no more carbon dioxide bubbles are produced. Right now I have changed the positions of the flask and uh, now the sulfur dioxide generator is on the hot plate and this is the sodium carbonate solution. Now the solution is saturated with sulfur dioxide. Uh, I didn't record it but we, at the middle of the reaction the total solution was turned into milky white paste. Now it is clear slice, slightly yellow color solution now I am going to stop the reaction right now this is the solution of sodium bisulfite if you want a solid product we have to evaporate this water but remember if you do so you need to distill this water under vacuum otherwise the heat will decompose the product and I am not going to do that because I, I am uh, using this solution in next step. So this is the end of the part 1 of this reaction that is synthesize 
sodium bisulfide from sodium carbonate. In next video, we are going to convert this sodium bisulfide into sodium dithionide.